what's going on there YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to another episode of P&Q. Now this is the question and answer series where you get to ask me questions or make comments and I'll respond the following week. You can do this one of two ways. You can pop your questions or comments down below in the comment section. Or you can email me at miniwarzone at gmail.com and I will respond anonymously the following week. I don't have any emails this week so I've no emails to go through. So it's just the comments. Um, I spent the I've spent the day up in Honiton with my family, my mum and my sister. I did get to see one of my brothers, so that was good. So I got a passing photo as he sort of passed through. It's a bit of a fleeting visit. Um, just wanted to call in um, just to see us, I think, because we don't go up, don't get to go up too often and. Um, yeah, they've just sold their house and, you know, all different things like that, sort of showing us where they hoping to get and all that kind of thing. So it was really good. Good catch up. So I'm going to go through the comments. I'm doing it on my laptop. I haven't printed out the questions. I'm trying to save a bit of paper. And start with Scragguard. I've got a cup of coffee here as well just to keep me going through this because I'm absolutely shattered. I've driven, well, I've been driving a lot today. I'm just knackered, super knackered. I'm going to be collapsing after this headache coming on so all that good stuff you know um scrag guard anyway says yeah it's amazing how many different ideas there are about space great answer mate keep up the good work yeah it was a bit of a i was it was a bit out there last week with space and all that kind of thing it was really cool though question if you chose to recreate a tv movie or program into a Warhammer army, which would you choose and what army would you make them from? Recreate a TV movie or program into a Warhammer army. Which would you choose and what army would you make them from? I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, are you meaning, do you mean what army would I make out of a TV show? What TV show would I make out of an army? Um, I've got my glasses on, by the way, because I can see better, better distance here to read the questions. If I don't know, I'm not quite sure what way around you you are meaning it. Um, if I was going to create a Warhammer army or a 40k or yeah, any Warhammer army out of a TV show, I would choose Walking Dead. I would use Zombicide figures to do it with. Uh, and there's a few other good zombie f uh, manufacturers out there as well, but mainly Zombicide figures I would use. Uh, if I wanted to make a TV series out of a, a 40k army about them, it'd be Dark Angels. Um, because I think they're just so fascinating. Fascinating lore. Yeah. So many mysteries. Um, and I'm, I know every army has got their coolness of law and it's all really different and that's what makes this hobby so great it really does but I would choose Dark Angels right coffee time I'm almost out of milk so I'm waiting for shopping to arrive later this evening so that'll be good hmm Big Mac Dance Girl ha ah, he says perfect answer to the Oxford comma question Pete now that was funny because I was sure I'd got it wrong. I was sure I, I'm, I was dead certain you were referring to a band or a song or something, and I was making a bit of an idiot of myself. So I'm glad that we were on the same wavelength for that one. He says, I enjoyed your diorama series. My question this week is, are you planning on doing more? Yes, definitely. Definitely going to be doing more. I don't know when or what, though. Um, I'm probably I'm going to compile a list of ideas for dioramas, that kind of thing. And whenever I get anything like a cheese board or something, that will, you'd be sure that will be used as the base for a new diorama. Yeah, definitely. So I will. I just don't know what yet or when. I'm qu it's got quite a lot on at the moment in hobby, well, in hobby, in hobby life and real life. So... But yes, the answer is yes, but I'm not sure what. Cruangela Silica says, Nice being Q with regards to aliens. What do you think first contact will be like? And do you think they're already here and living among us? 
Now that's a good question. Um, right. Conspiracy theorist, theorists out there, fellow conspiracy theorists. You know there's a plethora of stuff out there on the internet land about reptilians living among us and other aliens and all that other stuff. Let's go back to first contact. What do I think it? Well, I think it happened a long time ago, thousands of years ago. I think we've already had first contact. Um, but in this day and age, whether they're living among us or not, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not convinced about the whole reptilian thing yet. Primarily because. It's, I don't know, the, 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 the shapeshifter reptilian videos, they all seem a bit faddish, kind of, everybody's jumping on that wagon. Whereas things like anomalies of Mars and things like that are based on actual NASA photo footage that you can just download yourself and you can see exactly what they're talking about. You know, no one's, all, well, apart from NASA perhaps, but... Uh, other than that, no one's altered it that you know of. Man, Photoshop can do an awful lot of stuff. And if you're really good at it. I, I don't know, I, I just, I, I don't know. Possibly, is what I will say. Possibly they're here living among us. To, I, I, I do think if they were, they would be terraforming the planet slowly which from what I can see is happening already it's already happening either that or we're just crazy but yeah that's what I think okay thank you for your question that was an easy that was a I was gonna say that was an easy one that was a nice nice one to do uh, hmm. oh, sorry, I'm leaning back in the chair oh gamer Sean he says thanks for the answers do you like the fluff aspect of the 40k hobby or are you more about the game? Are you particular about your dice? I use just yours. No one else touches certain colours for armies, etc. Yes. Well, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love the fluff aspect of 40k. Absolutely love it. I suppose I like the fluff a little bit more than the game. I love the game as well, don't get me wrong, I love the game. But the fluff, I think, for me is where it's at the most. Then the painting, then the gaming, then the modelling. I know it's a strange order, right? I, I prefer, yeah, I, I prefer the fluff. I just love it, all the stories and the lore and everything to do with it. I love it. And then I like the painting aspect of it the most. Then the gaming, because that's kind of like the reward for the painting. You know, you get to play with toy soldiers and throw dice and move them around, get excited about it. That's quite cool. Um, modeling, I'm not overly keen on it. I find that if, if anything, uh, that's probably the only area of the hobby that is a bit of a chore, and that's the building. Um, don't get me wrong, I like building, but sometimes I think, oh, I'd rather just play a game or just paint something. But you've got to build it to paint it, I know that. Um, which is where the, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but where the, the idea of buying something fully assembled on eBay, even if it's painted and you have to strip it, it's kind of appealing, you know. Um... Am I particular about my dice? Do I use... Yes, I am. Do I use just mine? Yes, I do. Do I have different colours for different armies? Um, that is just some of the jars I have. And behind there, there's more jars. I have a different colour set of dice for different armies. So, yes. Yes, I'm pretty particular. Yes, I am. Let's pop this camera. I'm going to get it exactly where it was now. Sorry about that. Oop, making a mess. So 
so yes, I'm pretty particular about it. Uh, super, am I superstitious about the dice? Um, no, not really. I just like to use my own. And that's... If I go somewhere and I don't have dice on it, just, then I'm happy to use, you know, whatever they're providing. Um, but if it, if I'm taking an army somewhere, like my army, I like to use my dice. I don't know. It's something about it. I don't know what it is. When I roll a dice, I like it to be my dice. Just something about it. I don't know. I, I like my dice. That's all I'll say. So, uh, you know, like I have the you know, green dice for Dark Angels and I have white dice for Tyranids and, uh, you know, anything else really. I've got blue for my Ultramarines, uh, red for my blood, blood Angels. I've got some purple ones as well, which I don't know, they could be for Necrons as well. I don't know. I've got loads of different sets. Anyway, there you go. It could be, he says, Mrs. Mini Warzone, please. Yeah, she, she she probably will do the 100th episode um, um, if people want to ask questions then yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, any questions you ask Mrs. Mini Warzone now, i.e. my wife, I'll put in a separate folder and then we can just print them up for the 100th episode. So uh, for between now and then, any questions uh, for her, um, just go in a separate folder and uh, they won't get read out until the 100th episode, which I'm looking forward to. That'll be good, that'll be really good. Um, right, uh, presumably, it says, Thanks for answering my question. Presumably, the question that you've put after this is for me. Um, it says, When humans finally meet the first alien species, what do you imagine they will look like? I think they've already met them. I don't know what they'll look like. Possibly like the greys. The grey aliens, if you know what that is. Like, it's like the typical shape aliens that you see on all the signboards and billboards and that. The funny elongated shapes, heads and that kind of thing. But honestly, I don't know. Hmm. I think they'll look kind of like us, i.e. they'll have two arms, two legs, two eyes, maybe a mouth. I don't know whether they'll speak or communicate in some other way, I don't know. Don't know if they'll have the same number of digits. But I think they'll be an upright standing species that walk and breathe, possibly. Oxygen, I don't know. Either. But I think that's what they will be like. Okay, Heresy Production says, great Q&A, Pete. If you had to pick an area of painting or modelling you wanted to work on to improve, which would it be? I think constantly I would like to improve my airbrushing skills because airbrushing is just phenomenal. I love airbrushing. Airbrushing and wet blending, for sure. Absolutely. That's what I would uh, like to work on. Because, yeah, I can wet blend, but not as good as other people that I've seen. Um, you know, I've seen um, people do it. I've tried to emulate that. I think, well, yeah, it looks all right. But, yeah, it's not as good as theirs, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So, but I think it's just keep practicing, practice, practice, practice. And eventually I might hit it, you know, hit the nail on the head and get there. That's what I'm hoping. Just got to keep trying. And don't... Like Chris from Mini Wargaming always says at the end of his videos, he says, don't be afraid to give it a try. And I think that's quintessential to the ethos of, of, that you need to adopt for this hobby. Don't be afraid to give anything a go. Give it a try. Just try it. That's all you've got to do. And I think we're on to the last question, yes, which is tattoo for you. That's a great video, man. Thanks for the res thanks for the response, as always. I do think Miss uh, Mini Warzone, uh, Miss Mini Warzone, should be on the hundredth episode. That being said, here's my question for her, and then he puts his question, which I'll reveal on the hundredth episode. Well, you've seen the question, but she can answer it on the hundredth episode. Um, Okay, so for my next PNQ, he says, uh, What's the biggest struggle that you are constantly trying to get past? Hobby related. I don't want to get too personal on this one. Well, that's okay. 
you yeah, can delve as personal as you want. If I, um, I can't see anything that I wouldn't really want to answer. But you know, people don't. I suppose people don't want to hear about me personally that that the in depth. But hobby related, what I'm constantly trying to get past. <laughs> struggle. My biggest hobby struggle is keeping this place in some sort of order. I'm so messy. I am messy. It, there's no, there's no um, question about that. I'm a messy worker, hobby worker. And I see some people on their videos and they like they have really nice, neat and tidy work areas. And I think that's so cool. I want to work there. Um, because there's nothing like a nice tidy workspace. Oh, I'm just a clutter, clutter box. I leave clutter everywhere. I leave books and dice and pens and brushes and models everywhere. Uh, paints. Uh, I'm just, I'm terrible. So that's something I would like to get past. Tidying up after yourself. Tidy up after your workspace. And after you've done hobbying, tidy up. Spend some time tidying up. I'm going to have to do that. Anyway. Thanks guys for your questions. Um, it's been a pleasure as always. Keep those questions coming. Um, yeah, really enjoy them. Like I say, I, I don't care. Um, just ask me stuff that you're in. If you are interested, if you're not, if you're not interested, don't ask me anything. But if you are, I'm, I'm happy to answer stuff. You know, if you really are interested in different things, and it's 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 good. It's good to talk about different stuff. I think it's great. You know, it's it's like when you when you watch channels on a regular basis well for me I, I watch them I have uh, quite a few channels I watch on a regular basis and I get to know the presenter say presenter of the channel I become invested in that channel I become invested in them as a person I like their personality um, <laughs> so yeah anyway guys thank you for listening watching posing your questions please keep them coming um, and as always just pop them down below I'll, I'll, I'll happily answer them or try to and um, I'll see you on the next video so till next time remember all brushes lead to war bye for now